Yo, what up? It's your boy Maul for More Beats, and I'm coming to do a quick tutorial on how to do a clean mix in Beatmaker 2. Uh, this is by request, so I'm going to honor that request by showing you guys a couple of tricks, some tips on how to get a clean mix on your two track in Beatmaker 2. All right, let's get into it. All right, y'all. This tutorial was requested by Benjamin Arias, Arias, hope I'm not butchering your name, bro. Uh, but uh, he hit me up uh, in regards to doing a tutorial on it. Enjoying the videos, hope you can talk about mixing and what you do after the idea is done. Are you completing the whole beats on your iPad or do you transfer, <clears throat> excuse me, do you transfer to any particular doll to do the final mix? To answer that question is I complete the whole beat on the iPad and I do a nice clean mix for the artist to write to or uh, for me to post it um, on my SoundCloud or on my website. So I do do a mix here and I'm going to show you guys what I do uh, far as getting a decent clean mix. So if you're looking at the mixing board, uh, and let me just cut everything up to kind of let you just hear, hear the beat. All right, let's see. Let me just push everything up for a moment. Hope it's not blurring. But this is how the beat sound. <laughs> And I have no EQs, no none of that on uh, this beat. So I'm going to just bring everything down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix this. I'm going to do a quick mix on it without any EQing. And then I will go back and add in some uh, EQs, delays, and all that stuff. So... The first thing I do, bring every, all the faders down. Uh, this is known as the Dr. Dre technique. I, I've, I've heard him say this in an interview where, well, I heard this on uh, Posado's place. Um, I forgot who he was, <clears throat> who Mr. Dave Posado was interviewing, but uh, the engineer, and it might have been, uh, might have been Dorio. I can't remember, but anywho, I remember them saying that they would use the Dr. Dre's technique where they would bring all the faders down and work their way up. So that's normally what I uh, habitually do when I'm doing a quick mix. So I will start off with my main channel, maybe right around here, right around, uh, I don't, I try to, Try not to go higher than zero dB. So I like to start it right around there. Hit play. Make sure the song is in loop mode, of course. And I'll just start bringing stuff up just like this. And let me get rid of that. Don't need that. And then we're going to start here. And this is with no EQing, no EQ or anything on it. So. And I'm gonna add a little pan here. pretty hot already.
cut this EQ off here. So that sounds uh, pretty decent, but still a little dull. So what I start doing, I start adding in different EQs and delays and stuff. So this is like my main sample. So I will go here. And for those that may be new to Beatmaker, you hit the plus, then all this come up. Now in Beatmaker 3, they got a galore of stuff. It is a totally different look from this. Um, so be on the lookout for BM3 coming real, real soon. So I start off with my EQ and then I will get play. Add in some delay. However you want it to go, whatever delay effect you want. I like that one, so I'll go with that. Now I got my 808. Now you want to be careful with the 808s because once you start beefing it up, it normally started starts to distort and, and uh, start to clip out. Um, in the modern modern music, the, the 808s are normally distorted, but yet with compression. Uh, one thing I don't like in Beatmaker 2, I don't like the compression, compression uh, e uh, plug-in in here. So I just try to be mindful of the headroom that I'm giving to the 808. So let me hit play. Here, kind of clipping out a little bit, so and just a, just a, just uh, just to add this, if you see a little red, a little clipping, it's cool. You just don't want that. You just don't want that. You don't want that that uh, that clipping in the in the red the whole time. But again, you know, that's your personal preference. If you do like that, I don't recommend it. So, so I'm going to go on to the next instrument. And what I did, I just played the same melody of this loop that I have. So I'm going to let this ride up under the main melody. But yet, you can still hear it. And go to the next one. Go to that tub. And be careful with the tubs because it'll clip out too. And normally, I don't add in the highs because it already gives off a high frequency. So I just add a little mid and a little low gain. Now with this little scent that I have here, I will I'll add a little color to it, but not too much because again the frequency it has a high treble frequency in it already. So just kind of be careful with it. But I'm gonna add some delay just to kind of give it, you know, a little more color and effect. So I 
life is quiet. hats I'm not going to add in the EQ because they're already uh, kind of poking out there already so I'm not going to add anything to the EQs See the master, you see the master, uh, my master fader. It's not clipping. Well, it's clipping, but it's not staying consistently, consistently in the red. So uh, that's the most important thing. You don't want it to consistently stay in the red. And just a little quick um, secret that I use for when I'm using my, when I'm uh, EQing my kick. Something else that I do too. I go here, I hit the, uh, hit the speaker, speaker uh, button here, and I will go to filter, filter. Now normally what I do, I hit the filter button and... And kind of just, you know, cut off, uh, 
cut uh filter uh, cut off some of that uh that high some of the high frequency the high pass and make it sound really muffled i like it right there where it's just enough pop And yeah, that's uh, a quick mix in Beatmaker. Now, all I have to do here is finish sequencing, sequencing uh, this track. Uh, it's already mixed. Just sequence it, export it, and upload it to my website and sell it. <laughs> Basically it. Uh, now, when I, track, when I track the joints out, I remove all of the EQ. Because you want to send the artist, you know, everything straight raw with no EQs. Sometimes I leave, uh, you know, maybe a delay on a certain instrument just just because it just gives it, it gives it that color. But I take off all of the EQing, you know what I'm saying, to give that engineer the leverage and the flexibility and the head run to be to mix how they want to mix it so that's a little quick tutorial on what i use what i normally do <coughs> uh, as far as mixing and beating it too uh please man if you enjoyed this video if you learned something in this video please give me a thumbs up if not give it give me a thumbs down and tell your friends tell your mama your daddy everybody everybody all of them to subscribe to my channel man got a lot of stuff that we got popping off, man. I'm really excited. This is a real good time to be an iOS uh, musician, an iPad producer. I'm telling you, people are getting in front of it. People are being uh, are becoming aware of the flexibility, the flexibility, the the convenience of mobile production. So I encourage you guys to get with the program, man. Shout out to. Uh, my fellow uh, producers, my fellow iOS musician producers, uh, Hennedy Business, uh, my homeboy All True West, and my homie, the beat maker, the squad, man. We, these guys are playing an intricate part uh, in the production community, along with myself, pushing this mobile technology forward. And granted, we're not the only ones, uh, but these are the guys that I know, and this is a community that I'm a, a part of. So shout out to them guys uh, for doing what they're doing with the iPad. Um, man, one more thing I wanna add to you guys. I will be doing the giveaway on the, uh, the Producerville t-shirt. I did mention that in my welcome video. So you guys be on the lookout for that. Uh, it's gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing for all the new subscribers. Uh, but man, feel free to purchase a Producerville t uh, the link will be in the description where you guys can go to purchase, uh, be a part of the community. Uh, Producerville is a place where you can come and be creative and be freely, artistically intertwined in what you do as a musician, producer, and all that stuff. Producerville is my home. I rep the flag uh, major. Uh, in a major way so yeah man if you want to be a part of uh the producer bill community and you want to represent where you're from man please go buy one of the tees i got them in stock and yeah we keep staying moving hope you guys are having a great week so far uh this is your boy Mar from beats don't forget to tell your homies and your friends to subscribe and i will see you guys on the next rip until next time grace and peace